let's find the product uh, AB. So, which means uh, we have to take the A matrix first. Let me copy the A matrix first. That is minus 2, 1, minus 1, and minus 5, 2, minus 1, 3, minus 1, 1. And then I write down the matrix P, that is 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, minus 1, 1, 1. In matrix multiplication, we have to take the we should take the first uh, row of the first matrix, multiply with uh, the columns, each column of the second matrix. So first we take the first row and multiply with the elements in the first column of the second matrix, that is a B matrix. So which means I have to multiply the corresponding elements. So I have to take the uh, minus 2, multiply with 1, then 1 multiply with 2 and then negative 1 multiply with negative 1. So this is the way we will be doing for matrix multiplication. So when we do that we will get minus 2 times of 1 is minus 2. We then have to add the multiplications. Then uh, 1 times of 2 is 2 and negative 1 negative 1 is positive 1. So we just completed the first row multiply with the first column of the second uh, matrix. Now we consider the second row column of the second matrix. So likewise we have to do that is minus 2 times of 0 is uh, 0 then 1 times of 1 is 1 and negative 1 times of negative 1 is negative 1. So we write down like this. So we just completed the second uh, multiplication. Now we move on to the third column. So when we do that minus 2 multiply with 1 which is minus 2 then we take the 1 multiplied with 3 is 3 we add 3 and then negative 1 multiplied with uh, 1 is negative 1. So this is, we have completed the uh, first row of the product matrix. Now you have to consider the second row. And the same way you have to start uh, multiplying with the each columns. That is column 1, column 2 and column 3 of the second matrix. So let me do it here. I'm doing for the first row, second row and first column. Which means um, I'll be getting minus 5 plus 4 plus 2 times 2 is 4 and this is plus 1 then now I move on to the second column it is uh, 0 2 times 1 is 2 negative 1 negative 1 is negative 1 now let me do the uh, multiplication for the third uh, third column so minus 5 times of 1 is minus 5 then 2 times of 3 is 6 that is positive 6, then negative 1, negative 1 is negative 1. So we just completed the second uh, row of the product matrix. Now in the same way you have to do the uh, third column. You have to take the third row and multiply with the uh, each columns of the second matrix. So this will be 3 times 1 is 3, negative 1, 2 is negative 2, and uh, 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Then 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 1, negative 1 is negative 1, 1 is negative 1. 1 times 1 is positive 1. Then 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 1 times is, times 3 is minus 3. Then 1 times 1 is 1 plus 1. So let's simplify this. This is the product uh, AB. We have 1 here. So this results in Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. This is minus 0 plus 1 minus 1 is 0. And then minus 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And here we get minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. This is uh, 0 plus 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And this one minus 5 plus 6 is positive 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And this one, 3 minus 2 minus 1 is uh, 0. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. This is uh, 3 minus 3 plus 1 is 1. So we got this matrix. So this is an identity matrix of order 3. We can represent this as I3. Now let's uh, do the other product. So here we have to take the uh, B matrix first. Multiply with A matrix. So let me copy this. B matrix is 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3. The first row is 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3. 
and the third row is minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 and let me copy the A matrix it is minus 2 1 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 then minus 5 2 minus 1 minus 5 2 minus 1 3 minus 1 1 So let's do the multiplication uh, one more time. So first we take the first row, multiply with uh, eight column elements one by one. Let me do for the first row and first column. So it is uh, one times of minus two is minus two. This is zero. One times of three is three. Now I'm just moving on to the second column. This is one times one is one. This is uh, zero. 1 minus 1 is 1. Now moving on to the third column. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. This is uh, 0. And 1 times 1 is 1. So I just completed the first row. Multiply with each column of the second uh, row. Sorry, second matrix. Now let me move on to the second row and do the same thing. So here I'll be getting 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. 1 times minus 5 is minus 5. 3 times 3 is positive 9. Then 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 minus 3. You have to be very careful when you do the multiplication. So make sure that uh, you take the corresponding row and corresponding columns and multiply with the correct elements. 2 times 1 is minus 2. 1 minus 1 is 1. 3 times 1 is positive 3. Now let me move on to the third row of the first matrix, that is the B matrix. Multiply with all the column uh, 1 by 1. Minus 1 times is minus 2 is 2. 1 times minus 5 is minus 5. 1 times 3 is 3. Then minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Then uh, 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Then minus 1 minus 1 is positive 1. 1 minus 1 is minus 1. 1 times 1 is positive 1. So this is the product that we get. I'm sorry about it. Okay. So you can just put a parenthesis here. Okay, let's get this simplified. So we have this is minus 2 plus 0 plus 3 is uh, 1. This is 0. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Minus 4 minus 5 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 0. This one is uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. This is minus 3 min plus 3 is uh, 0. 2 minus 5 is minus 3 plus 3 is 0. And this is minus 1 plus 2 minus 1. This is minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So here also we are getting the identity matrix of order 3. We can represent this as I3. So when you compare these two products, AB and BA, we get uh, identity matrix. So we can write down the equation as AB equals BA equals I matrix. So this is basically an I matrix. So when this is true, that is... Uh, if you take a multiply, uh, if you take a matrix A and multiply with another matrix, and if you get the identity matrix, then this matrix has to be the inverse of A matrix. That is, we can write down this B is the inverse of A matrix. All right. So, which is uh, after once we write down this, we can write down this equation as A A inverse equals uh, A inverse times of A equal to I. So, therefore. We can conclude that B matrix is the inverse of the A matrix.